Oh, that's absolutely on. That's the amazing thing. I already hit record. <laughs> So guys, we're here with uh, Global Mission Awareness founder and president, and Papa Lee Hey. How's your new year going? Amazing, amazing. It's 2020, There's now, it's not, you know, to be super prophetic to say, wow, this is a year of sight, a vision of seeing what God's doing in our own personal lives and the lives of those around us and in our generation. But for you specifically, what are maybe three things the Lord's been speaking to you this year about 2020? I think that first of all, I have my own personal, this is just me personal, my wife, just our, our inner circle. I had in the end of last year an encounter with Jesus as the Prince of Wholeness. And uh, I was reading Isaiah and the very famous Christmas passage that we know, until us a child is born, but son is given, the increase of government is upon his shoulder. He shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, and Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. When I saw the word Prince of Peace, a prince is a royal son. So he's a royal son. And the word peace is shalom. Mm -hmm. So he's a royal son of wholeness. So Jesus is the royal son of wholeness. And when I read that, it just kind of stood out to me. And then the Holy Spirit says, like, what does wholeness look like in every area of your life? What does it look like with shalom in your mind, in your body, in your finances? Because shalom means wholeness, completeness in every area. So everything that Jesus paid for, that he paid for, did you receive it? And I just started to get convicted and I started to make a list of some specific, I can call them giants, that I, I realized that he wanted me to deal with. And then I had a dream and in my dream, it was just one of those, I woke up and I felt very disturbed. There was kind of the fear of the Lord was on me. And in it, the glory of God was coming in and it happened twice. The glory came into the room. The last time was when I was in the Philippines. And when the weightiness came there, I couldn't stand. I just got crushed because I couldn't stand. He says, Leif, I would like, I need people to be able to stand in my glory because I want you to learn how to minister in my glory. But when there is any cracks in the foundation, out of wholeness there is holiness. So there is this Jesus, the Prince of wholeness. When there's wholeness, there's no place where the enemy can operate. So the weightiness can come in and there's no cracks in the foundation. And then you can start to minister in my glory. And I just realized the last two times the glory came, he had to kind of lift it because I was just on the floor crushed. Mm -hmm. I couldn't stand in the glory. And so as a result of that, I just started to make some changes in my life. And I've been on this journey from physical health to mental, spiritual, emotionally, every area of my life, my marriage, mm -hmm. finances, every area was almost like it was very easy for me to say no because I had a big enough yes. Mm -hmm. And I said yes to Jesus, the Prince of Wholeness. And he says, if you do what I tell you in the natural, I'm going to take care of what is in the supernatural. And since then, I mean, this is just five, six weeks into it this year. Uh, yeah, I've lost about 13, 14 pounds as wow. a byproduct. Mm -hmm. I've been eating the right kind of a food. I've said no to sugar, no to a lot of things because I have a big enough yes. yes. But also my marriage, we are the most connected. Mm -hmm. With Jesus, I'm the most connected. Uh, I talk to him in the way that you and I talk in, in this season. Wow. So that has been one area for me. Second area for me, personally speaking, is just being with Jesus for no mm. agenda. And the wow. second has to become like Jesus. Mm. Becoming like Jesus. And the third desire in this season is to live and love just like Jesus. So what would you do if Jesus were to be you? And I just started to ponder in that question. So from the way I'm driving in the traffic, Jesus said, hey, like, I'm not in a hurry. So it's just been every aspect of my life. Yeah, it's almost yeah. like everything that I watch, I see, social media. Uh, on the Sabbath, excuse me, just turn off all the phones. So I just got me another phone for emergency purposes because I'm setting this time off and all social media is off. Yeah. So that one day, this is 24 hours. I'm loving mm. God and I'm loving myself and I'm just loving some other people around me. That's what one day a week is for. And I'm living from rest instead of towards rest. So the simplicity of that is just be with Jesus no agenda, not for what he's going to do for me. Then becoming like Jesus in every year of my life, and I'm looking in the mirror and I'm looking at Jesus, and I'm just being overwhelmed by him because what you behold and you're becoming, mm -hmm. and what you become is actually what you release. And the third is practically speaking, what does this look in every, every moment 
mm. in every way. Not a, it's not a performance thing, it's a passion thing. I have seen something that I can say yes to. And I'm going to start this life journey that I have already gone into. And it is so beautiful. Jesus is so beautiful. And I want every single thing that Jesus paid for on the cross. And the third thing for me, and now this will be more a prophetic word for the year and for other people. I was about to speak in a meeting and just Jesus interrupted and he says, John 2020 for 2020. Mm. John 2020 for 2020. And I'm like, oop. So I went in and I saw the verse and I realized, wow. The disciple, and I felt that was kind of a year 2019 for most people. Yeah. It's almost like a hope deferred and made the heart sick. They had a dream that they had hope. And now they are stuck in this room that was full of fear. And they were overwhelmed by their circumstances. And then the Bible says that Jesus just appears among them and he fills that room with his presence. Whoa. So first was his presence. Yeah. His presence, his presence. And then second of all, he imparted his peace. Now he showed him his hands and his side. If you need finances, I am your provider. Look at my hands on my side. If you need healing, I am your healer. I am your joy. I am your strength. I am your glory. I am your authority. I am your anointing. Whatever you need, I am. I took care of that. Look at my hands on my side. Mm -hmm. And then the Bible says the disciple became glad. So from his presence, his peace, now you saw the daily provision. It says supernatural provision and supernatural passion. John 20, 20 for 2020. So when you see what Jesus paid for, so life, are you living in such a way that everything that Jesus paid for, that you're living that to the full? Mm. Because Jesus came to give you life and life more abundantly, not just life. And that led to another round of peace for the disciple. And then from there, as the Father sent me, now I send you, they had a new purpose. And with that, he breathed and I said, receive the Holy Spirit. They got a new power. And then he says, now if you forgive the sins of any, they will be forgiven. And if you retain the sins of any, they will be retained. They got a new perspective and a new paradigm, a new map about what's going on in 2020. So mm -hmm. 2020, John 2020 for 2020, supernatural provision. He showed them his hands on his side. And every day I look at his hands on his side. And when I'm meeting somebody that needs healing, when I meet somebody that need, whatever need that is out there, I know that Jesus took care of that. Yeah. And I start to minister, freely I received, freely I can give. Everything that I have received now, I also knew Jesus also provided for that. So there's abundance. And I've seen a breakthrough in my finances. I've seen a breakthrough in my marriage. I had a physical breakthrough. I've had four major healings. Uh, I've, for four and a half years, I was on sleeping medication. I've been on muscle relaxer because of all the surgeries. And all of it, I'm even off my cholesterol medication. It's just already so far. Jesus is the Prince of Wholeness. Mm. And every single thing I need when I go to bed and I can't sleep, like last week in Texas for three nights, then the Prince of Holmes shows up. And I look at his hands on his side, he says, I am your resting place. I am your resting place. Come to me, lady. You are weary and heavy laden. I will give you rest. Because my burden is easy and my yoke is light. So I'm experiencing this lightness. He's carrying the load and I'm walking with lightness. I'm seeing double for my trouble and I had twice of what I had last year, but with half as much fuel. Mm. Accomplishing twice as much, but with half as much energy. And that's what coming from shallow. And wisdom is coming where there's shallow. So I'm very excited for where I'm at so far this year. And what we're seeing God is doing, he's showing up. I've seen more healings, more miracles, more glory run, more everything in the kingdom I've seen this year, but with less energy. And that's the fun part of shallow. Mm. receiving shallow in every area of our life that's amazing and you're talking about connection to God and uh, even Blake Healy this weekend at Bethel Atlanta spoke on the God connection and as you were talking it made me think like if we can disconnect then we then we can reconnect and if we disconnect and reconnect with his presence then we ourselves become the connection mm -hmm. You know, like this needs a cell tower to operate. Well, we're having cell towers on the earth. God, if we're in his presence, like you said, putting everything else aside. And we fix our gaze. Like why did Jesus say, look at my hands, look at my side? He was disconnecting their gaze from what was causing them to hide in a room with fear. And he was turning their gaze back to him. When they looked back at him, ah, they were reconnected. 
And what happened after they left that place? They became a connection. So 2020 is a year for you to experience John 2020. <laughs> 2020 for 2020. John 2020 for 2020. Be careful, this kind of a thing can lead to dancing. Uh -oh, uh -oh. And you can be uh -oh. a joyful Christian. Yes, yes. Now you got just a peek into the amazing conversations we have here at GMA. And uh, Papa Leif loves to give presents. He loves to have fun. He loves to dance. And he loves, what is this called? I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> it's yes, a, it's right a therapy time. for me. I'm it's not therapy. a musician. Therapy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, stay connected in 2020. Hey, check out our resources below. And if you're loving, loving the Global Mission Awareness YouTube channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and tell your friends about it. We'll see you guys later. Thanks, Leigh, for coming on today. Come on. Love you. Love you.